Peggy 18. Sniper Elite V2 is a third-person shooter based during the Second World War. You play the character of Carl Fairburn, an allied sniper who's dropped behind enemy lines during the Battle of Berlin. It's more of a thinking man shooter than some of the uh, running gun titles that, that are on the market at the moment. This is a game where you've got to think your way through each encounter. You've got to take your time and measure the situation first. We look to build this around a certain tension of whether to shoot, who to shoot and when to shoot. And these are key ingredients really to the gameplay. If you run and gun in this game, you'll find yourself dead. Quite quickly. A lot of the gameplay will revolve around stealth. If the enemy detects you at close quarters, then you're almost certain to die. Remaining silent is as important as remaining unseen. You're equipped with a silenced pistol for quiet kills, and also you can perform neck breaks. When using your sniper rifle, if you time your shots carefully to coincide with loud noises in the environment, then you can take a shot without being heard. So we give the player the ability to tag, which means that you can keep check of where they are at any point on the HUD, but also it gives you pertinent information about that character, so what weapon they're holding, what rank they are, which would determine how formidable a foe they would be. It's really important to stay one step ahead of the enemy. Gaining a vantage point is essential. Once you've found a vantage point, you need to secure it. Place mines, trip mines, say, in doorways, or mines under dead bodies. So you would have, I'm sure, seen all of the, uh, the kill cam goodness. It's a dynamic system, it's not pre-rendered, it's calculated on the fly in real time, and we track the bullet as it passes through the human body and the damage that the bullet deals. But it's not all about putting a bullet through somebody's brain, there are various other ways of taking your enemy out. Sometimes wounding an enemy can be more effective than killing him. A wounded enemy will call out to his buddies to come and rescue him, thus presenting themselves as targets. Rather than a single enemy running towards you, you might get a squad of three or four. You notice a grenade. Hit the grenade instead of the guy, and rather than killing just him, you can kill his entire squad. A unique feature of Sniper Elite V2 is our ballistic system. Uh, in it we calculate gravity, so bullet drop plays an important part. Crosswinds need to be taken into consideration for all your shots, as does muzzle velocity. You'll need to aim not only above your target, but also to the side in order to compensate for all of these factors. This isn't a game where you can run and gun you would only get yourself killed if you take that approach. The tactic here is to observe, plan, and then to execute. 